not nervous. I just I All didn't right. really expect this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so your name? Uh, my name is Jamie McIntyre. J A M I E M C I N T Y R E. Capital I. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, tell us what you feel makes the school different from other schools. Um, I feel like the school. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I feel like the school is different from others because one, it's play-based, but we also have enrichment in reading and writing. Um, we do yoga, we do Spanish, we do sign language, so they're getting a very well-rounded education here. Excellent. Um, and what would you say some of the values are that, that, that as I, I mentioned, uh, we asked earlier? That this, that this, what would you say some of the values that the school in general hold? Um, oh, geez. I don't even know what to say for this <laughs> um, what, what's, what's job one here? Helping out the students learn. That's the main, main important thing that we do here is just helping them learn. Um, helping them socialize. Getting them ready for kindergarten and for our classroom especially. Um, Making sure that they know how to treat others the right way. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Just having good core values, just making sure that they're good human beings all around. Mm -hmm. What would be, um, oh man, I just lost that one thing. Um, uh, oh, give me, give me like a, um, a scenario or a, something that might have happened recently that you feel typifies, you know, the, the approach here? Um, oh, wow. What's that? I'm trying to think of someone. someone is specifically. Like, okay. Um, yeah. Like, recently, um, since we're in pre-K, we've been learning how to read and write, and I have had actually children who have been able to um, read a full book all the way through, and so... Uh, I think that's a very important thing, especially being a pre-K teacher, and it just shows that we're doing our job, and um, and that they'll be ready for kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What, what, would, what is their, What would you say their approach is in terms of like kids interacting with each other? Um, well, we give them the freedom to choose what they'd like to do in the centers, um, but also there are times in the classroom that we have them sit down and work with us and be able to follow directions and um, listen to instructions and make sure that they're ready to do that once they get into kindergarten because they'll need to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Why do you teach? I love children. I've been doing it since college. Um, I love working with little kids and giving them the opportunity to learn. Mm -hmm. Why do you think working here is, is in the optimal place for you? Um, I love the working environment. I love all the people that I work with. The director is fantastic. Um, and I love the atmosphere. The kids are great. Um, the classrooms are wonderful. It's just a great working environment. Awesome, thanks. Now, what, by the way, are you to different age? Yeah. We're both no, we're both pre-K. both pre-K, yes. okay. And you are? I'm just a working director. Yes, she just oh, I see. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. Do you, do you want to say anything? Guy. There we go. Say thank you, Goddard School. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thanks for all. We appreciate it. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. little silly baby. What? What's he doing? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Barbara Ken. Oh, Barbara Ken, yeah. before we cry, come on. Come on, before we lose it. Let the good knee go. Come on, before we lose it. Get in there. Come on, stay there. Come on. Hey, hey. Hold on, he's taking video, okay? Don't bother like this. Do you see anybody in here? This way, this way. Okay, now take one. That's it, baby. That's it. <laughs>
Zemma. Oh, sorry. Is it Zemma or Zemma? Nope, the other way. There you go. Yeah, Sideways. Ready? Good. Yeah. One, seven, twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, okay? First row, go ahead. Go find mommy and daddy. Mom and dad, if you can help, maybe come get them. Okay, second row, stand up. Go find mommy and daddy. Okay, third row, please stand up. I'm sorry, I have to stand on this. Okay, Varun, Alori. Matthew. 
Jacob, look. Oh. Oh. Ella McCormick. Madeline McCormick. Brielle Modi. Benjamin Nugent. Pratham Patel. Pratham. Just his cap. Scratch his cap. Perth Kumar Patel. Buddha, look at me. Rohan Patel. Rohan. Rohan. Hey, smile. Vihan Patel. Oh, oh, oh. 
Prachi Wagwani. Prachi. And Nicholas Cachera. The children have one last surprise for you. They're going to do one more song. Okay, boys and girls, right? Rachi, no. Rachi. Boys and girls, everybody stand up for our last song. Our last song. Yeah. Kindergarten, here we come. We know we'll have lots of fun. Lots of things to make and do. joining us in this ceremony. We are very happy for each and every child when they are ready to step in the real world. We we'll wish them and we wish all of them a best of luck. And parents, thank you for your continuous support. And now I have to call upon a few names of the children who have with us since we opened the school. Wow. Mr. Shma. Dominic. Thank 
presentation of the diplomas now. And it will be individual. Oh, yeah. Miss Jamie. Miss Jamie. Sorry. <laughs> Dominic, turn around and face forward. A little more, a little more. You can see.
Who starts the second row again? Just so we can remind them. Um, wait, yeah. the so, so don't forget, the back row is going to all sit down. You go to the second row. Second. Okay? Ben, worry about you right now. Perfect. <laughs> Rohan, you should be behind Cora. Thank you, dear. I love that. Thank you. The compliments. And Mihan, that fish news is falling off. I, I noticed you've been touching it, so try not to touch it, okay? Bisma and Arab. On the right side, please. Girl, oh, girl, be careful. Bisma will line up before you, Arab. Let Bisma come. Don't touch it, Dominic. Nicholas, why don't you move up to one of the chairs, honey? Okay, that's cool. Eyes up there. Sammy Simone. Turn your back around, please. Face this way. Face this way. That's what's important. Up there. Yes. Oh, who's this? Okay, so Simone's before our body, right? Yes. We're not fitting because everyone's actually here. Be careful, Kachi. Yeah, Nicholas. I know, because you know. Okay. Just stand right there, because you know. And once we start to go, you'll have room. All right, so listen carefully. Turn on your listening ears. When you hear your name, walk quietly and safely to line up to go outside, like we've been practicing. Remember, it's just like lining up to go out in the hallway. You don't need bubbles and quiet signs, but smiles and quiet. Touching, perfect. Okay.
Yep. So you just, you just look at me, right? Relax. Okay. Um, spell your spell your full name and, and your title. Say my name too and spell it. Yeah. Linda Bartek, L I N D A B A R T K. Okay. And I'm the director at the school. Okay. So, your thoughts on the school in general? We'll start off with that. You want to know about our philosophy in the school? Philosophy is great. Okay, yep. our philosophy for the Goddard School is that children learn um, while they play. So we have a lot of hands-on activities where the children can go from station to station and learn about um, art. They learn about um, motor skills, dramatic play, um, manipulatives, um, and that's the way our um, program works, actually. It's all with playing with the children and the teachers then interact with the children. Excellent. What do you think makes that a superior type of approach? Our approach for our curriculum? Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of it is hands-on, the other schools don't have that type. Um, part of the day may be hands-on for the other schools, but our entire program is based on, on a hands-on approach. And um, the other schools will use dittos. We don't use dittos at all. Um, we may use something for the kindergarten to take home for homework as a ditto, but otherwise everything is hands-on, children um, doing all manipulatives in the school. Tell me what the manipulatives are. Well, they would work with blocks, per se, to work their small motor skills. Um, they could work with um, objects to put them in order for color, for um, sequencing, um, that type of thing. And then, of course, the teachers then work one-on-one -on -one with them with handwriting. Um, and during the cognitive time uh, for the manipulatives, they also work one-on-one -on -one with them as well. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, how would you describe the, if, uh, it might be the same question, but, but you know, how would you describe the approach in, in general? Well, the approach is generally um, where the children will play with different objects that the teachers okay. have out specifically related to the theme um, for the week or for the month um, or it could be something that the children just need extra help with um, they may put out for them to play with and to manipulate manipulate <laughs> mm -hmm. and they, they also work on the computer too so they put in specific programs for the children to work on um, it could be a math skill a handwriting skill, a cognitive skill for learning their letters, numbers, that sort of thing. Excellent. How would you describe the um, the the approach in terms of interpersonal, uh, you know, um, interpersonal approach between the, the children, and uh, the, like what, what values are, are are you know trying to be instilled? Okay. Well, the, it's um, huge social time for the children when they're doing these small group activities because the other schools, again, they will be in um, large groups. Ours are in small groups. We have two, three, maybe four children working together at the same time, and they learn from each other. While they're working, um, one child may do something, the other child will try to copy that. So they're learning. At that point, a uh, teacher will step in and work with these children, and they may copy what the teacher's doing. Um, or the teacher will say, oh, did you know that you can do this, or this thing can do this? Um, and that's the way that uh, we teach them. Mm -hmm. What would you say the most common question people ask when they come in is? For a tour? Mm -hmm. um, they do want to know about the curriculum. They mm -hmm. want to know how it's different. 
similar to the questions that you're asking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how about the the physical area in terms of how it's kept? I, I notice a lot of pictures. Tell me why why having a lot of pictures is, is important. Uh, the children's artwork. Artwork, your pictures of them, right? These are, these are pictures of the children. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well. It's important for the children to feel comfortable in the school, so we have pictures of their parents, their siblings here. Um, a lot of times for the children who come in as new students, mm -hmm. they want to feel comfortable. We'll show them pictures of their parents. It eases them while they're here. Um, there may be a time when a child's been here for a long time and they just break down. If they see pictures of their family, it soothes them and comforts them for the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other projects on the wall, we do creative art here versus other schools will do end product um, art, which is designing a specific object, like um, put these pieces together and make an airplane, put these pieces together to make this. We give them um, objects to manipulate on the paper, um, whether it be paint or yarn or paint and yarn. Um, they can make whatever it is that they want to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, what would you say on missing, if anything? Um, uh, quality assurance, and or we have a quality assurance program where Goddard comes in and they inspect the school twice a year, which sets us apart from other schools because they're just um, governed by the state I see. that comes in. So tell me about how standards, standards, tell me about how standards are maintained here at the school. Well, since we're a franchise of Goddard Corporation, um, they have a quality insurance program where um, they have specific rules and regulations that we have to abide by. It could be something as simple as um, changing a baby's diaper. We have an 18-step process that we have to go through. Uh, it involves um, wearing gloves, changing the child and washing their hands, making sure items are there for the child. Um, before they come to the area, so safety is involved as well. Mm -hmm. There's many, many things that they will come in and check. Um, they'll check the teacher's um, lesson plans to make sure they're all on target. They'll check all of my files to make sure I'm upkeeping everything, our fire, fire drills. Um, and this is a little bit different than other schools where they just have to abide by the state. The state comes in maybe for an hour, maybe two at the most, and checks different things like outlets, um, that you are using gloves, um, making sure that toys are safe. Um, but Goddard, on the other hand, they'll come in twice a year, and they'll be here for two days each time, mm -hmm. and they'll sit in the classrooms, they'll talk to the teachers, they'll check their procedures, um, they'll sit in my office, make sure I'm doing tours properly. Um, so it's, it's very much involved. Mm -hmm. Very comprehensive. Um, cool. You said something that uh, made me think of a question as far as the standards. Um, all right. No, that's... They set up goals and stuff for the children, too. Um, their program um, is based on the eight different ways children learn. Okay. And inside those eight different ways they learn, there's goals that they make up in each of the classrooms where the uh -huh. teachers have to um, specifically design their lesson plans on those goals. Okay, that I think is this is very important. Okay. Um, so, can, yeah, can you describe to me the, the academic approach? Okay, um, what Goddard has done is um, they've done studies and they've learned that children learn through eight specific ways. And for each of our classrooms, which are basically broken down into six months period until they get three years old and then it's for a year and then pre-K is for a year. Um, mm -hmm. In these different areas, they've broken down goals for each of the classrooms. And these goals are used to um, produce the lesson plans that the teachers make. And these goals are what they work on with the children throughout the time that they're in their classroom. Um, and that's how they develop cognitively. Excellent. Cool. Um, awesome. OK. All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yep. Felt like I was on a tour. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Thank you yep. very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Sure. Greg, I need my antibiotic from Walgreens. If you could go and get it for me, please. Um, I wish I didn't have to ask you to do that, but I do because I'm not allowed to drive. Um, so can you call me back, please?
And we'll just start off with like, um, here's just spell your name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold it. Okay. First and last. <laughs> Wait, we can tell. Stay, stay there. Okay. Um, sorry. That's right. Okay. Yeah, first and last. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. My name is Marissa Adams. Marissa, M-A-R-I-S-S-A, Adams, A-D-A-M-S. All right, great. So how would you describe the, the approach here at uh, the Goddard School? I would describe it as a very student-centered atmosphere. Um, the students have a lot of freedom to make choices all throughout the day. Um, they're also, they're learning through play. They, we have center time, which is an opportunity for them to visit different centers that offer um, a lot of different learning experiences, such as creative arts, um, social science, like, which is like a dramatic play. Um, we have a cognitive center. Uh, we have a science center. They're learning as much as they can in as little time as possible and making choices and they're, they're socializing mm -hmm. as well as learning the academics. Cool. What would you say are some of the values that, that the school holds here? Well, I think, first of all, all the teachers care a lot about the students. They develop a really strong bond. Um, also, I think it's important, we're, as pre-K teachers, we're definitely um, teaching them how to read and write, which is important, preparing them for kindergarten. We're, we're all about preparing them and getting them ready for the future, a lifelong learning, rather than just um, every, every experience is worthwhile and they walk away with something from every learning experience. Cool, cool. What would you say uh, if, uh, what would you say someone who is considering coming to the, the Goddard School or a different school in the area, you know? Well, I would, I would definitely recommend the Goddard School because I've seen in the students, even coming into pre-K, that many of my students I felt were, could have even gone to kindergarten on day one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really prepares you for the next step. And I think it's like every classroom is almost like a step ahead for each, for every student. So it's like they're on where they should be and beyond. And when I think a lot of our students, when they go to kindergarten, they're gonna be ahead of the game. And um, I mean, a lot of them are reading and writing and they're, they're confident in it too. Mm -hmm. So they build a lot of confidence here and they develop all the skills and the goals that they need and they're prepared. Awesome, awesome, thanks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you, got, you, you guys are off the hook, no. <laughs> I told you I look good, Bia. I don't want you to do it. You're okay. Are you okay? Exactly. You're okay? Yep. For two seconds. For two seconds. There you go. Fine. Yep. <laughs> It only works for two seconds, like I said. Two seconds. Like the shock. Yeah. Excellent. Now, like you're alive. <laughs> All right. Go. Congratulations, class of 2011. All right. Okay. 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 Don't go, don't go, 
You can go around. You can go, yeah. There are four on the floor. Can you move a little bit? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You want to show me Get your tan sheet on. You want to show Mama our bathroom? I haven't been here. I know. I it's, 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 it has. I know. Oh. Okay. okay. I'll use. Is it locked? Well? Yeah. Look at you, handsome. Okay. Wait. Well, you My name, yep. Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, mm -hmm. DeCicco, D-E-C-I-C-C-O. Fantastic. Then just move to doing her. Just move over this way. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So tell me about your experience with God at school. It's been wonderful. They're so sweet and caring, and my son has learned so much. He loves to come to school. The kids are sweet. It's been a great experience, and I'm a little sad to see him leave, but on to bigger and better things. Excellent. Excellent. Just, not a big deal, but try, just try to look off camera to okay. me. To me. Okay. <laughs> um, and how would you, did you, when you, for how long was your child in school? He was here almost two years. Okay. And before you brought him here or sent him here or whatever, how, did you shop around at all? Tell me about the experience. No, we actually got a flyer in the mail. And I did really didn't, wasn't into him coming to preschool or anything because I was just uh, attached to my son. And we brought him down, and the, it was on a Sunday, and he had such a wonderful time. We signed him up the next day, and he was starting the next week. It was okay. just a really great, he didn't want to leave. At first, he didn't want to come. He's at home going, I'm not going, I'm not going. He came, and he didn't want to leave, and we just knew that this was it. So it was just a fit from the start. Fantastic. And it's been a great experience. What was your first impression when you walked in? I loved it. Everybody was sweet, caring, warm. Um, I read people pretty good, so I had a really good feeling about the place. So. And my son is doing, he's reading at five, he reads books. He's unbelievable, very proud. Wow, fantastic. Um, what would you say to someone who, you know, you're, you're, you're at, uh, I don't know, you're you Starbucks or, uh, or uh, Dunkin' Donuts, or neither? Uh, neither, I'm not really a coffee right, drinker, coffee but anyway. Drink. You're having tea, you're, at, you're, with, you're out here with your friends having a- Okay, I'm having a, a Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, you're on, she's on the fence, your friend's on the fence, you know, about where to send her child. What would you, what would you I would definitely say the Goddard School. It's, uh, it's just been wonderful. There's not a, one negative thing I could say. Not one negative thing. He's learned. I, I didn't think it, he just turned five and he's reading. He reads books. I mean, we read at night. And he, the other night he read 90% of a whole book at five. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he goes to school and he says, I said, who's your favorite friend? I love them all. They're all my best friends. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? That's a good. That's a, that brings up a good point. What do you think he's learning about about being together with other kids and, and learning about life in general? Maybe he's definitely learned a lot. Um, he's an only child, so he's been a little bit spoiled in life. But you know, uh, I definitely think he learned how to socialize. And what, do it. Do it from this way. Do it from this point of school. Uh, point of view of the school. Like here, I feel that they taught him blank. You know what I mean. All right, okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, now you're telling me to say something. It's got to come sorry, from the I'm heart. Sorry. You're, sure. um, you're right. You're good. You're good. Um, <laughs> here he had an opportunity. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> here he had the opportunity to. Um, Wait, start over because your here was a little. Your here was a little contrived. Okay. So anyway, here at the Goddard School, he learned how to socialize with kids, how to share, how to interact, and um, it was new to him. He never had that. He's been an only child. He's been mama's boy for a long time. So I think they really taught him really well and. Uh, been a really great experience. Fantastic. Are you gonna make me sweat now? <laughs> so the the, the 
the, the spelling of both of your names. We'll start off with that. Okay. Um, my name is Hazel, H-E-Z-A-L. Patel, P-A-T-E-L. It's Drew, D-R-E-W. Same uh, last name. Patel, great. Yeah. She's a little closer. Okay. Each other. All right, cool. Like you like each other. There you go. That's all right. Well, we got to pretend. <laughs> okay. So just in general, why you like this school? <laughs> and, what, and, what, and what you think separates it from other schools? Uh, we like the philosophy. We always liked the philosophy from, from day one when we came in. Um, it was it was different from other places, other schools, and they have the way they nurture and, and take care of the children is different from other places. Mm -hmm. So that's what attracted us. They're also very encouraging um, yeah. in teaching the children. Um, I've never heard a teacher yell at a student. Yeah. Um, they're very, very caring, and I've had both both my kids go here, and they're. They both were criers at one point, um, and it wasn't unusual to come in and see one of the teachers holding yeah. one of them, and that's very comforting to know. Yeah, fantastic. So, what would you say your their um, from from an ed from like okay, educational maybe to uh, I guess it is educational like mm -hmm. from, from that standpoint, how would you describe the the either the interaction of the curriculum or that type mm -hmm. of thing? Um, it, you know, they make it, it's very interactive and they make it fun for the kids to learn. Um, you know, we, we were concerned that our son wasn't going to be reading by the time right. he left here and he's reading. Yeah. Um, they promised us that he'd be reading and he's reading yeah. um, and he enjoys it. It's not, you know, oh, I have to do this. Yeah. Um, he's enjoying the reading. So they, they do it in a fun way um, and the kids would never even know that they were learning. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And do you want to add to that? No, that's, that, that was right. That was accurate. Uh-huh. Um, and let's say I'm a, I'm a, you know, I am a new, did you, did you shop around at all? Or did you? Yeah, we did. We did. We okay, did. tell me about how this compared to other schools you saw. This one, like I said, philosophy was one thing, and just the, the environment was right. 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 Do me a favor. Start off with, uh, before we sent our, before we sent our charger, we, you know, we, we looked around. I need to stop. And then. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, so before Whoops. we... Whoops, go ahead. I'm just going to start up here. Yeah. Before we sent uh, our son here, um, we shopped around several places, and what really attracted us was the, the philosophy, the environment. The, it was just brighter. It seemed a lot brighter, and a nicer, happier, fun place to, to be at. Um, you know, even when we came here for the trial, the, the teachers were very engaging. They took it, our son in, like, he, he had been here for a long time, and he felt very, very comfortable. Focus? Um, so that's one of the things. It, it was him just understanding that he's comfortable and he gets the feel that this place is the right place. I also felt like the student to teacher ratio here yeah. was much better. Yeah. Um, they weren't in crowded classrooms. Um, they were in manageable classrooms and there was always a teacher there to be attentive to the students that were there. Awesome, awesome. Um, so what would you say as a in general quick, quick statement to someone who's on the fence they like, should we go to this school or this school, you know, what would, what would you say? I would choose Goddard because it's fun and they will learn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Excellent, excellent, cool. Yep. <laughs> just a spelling, you know, do you turn you by this way? Perfect, good, good. Okay, so uh, spelling of your name again? C-A-P-O-N-E-G-R-L. First name? Stephanie. Stephanie. With a P-H or F? With, yes, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E. Okay, right, excellent. Um, and you're a five-year parent? Or four? How long? In the school? Yeah. We've been in the school for three years. My son is five. He started right before he was two. Excellent. You came back after this, after his, he was two. So can you tell me why? Well, he hadn't. That was his first enrollment right. ever. He had. I was home with him. Yeah. And then I went to work. So I wanted him to interact, and I wanted to put him in half days, a couple days a week, just to get him acclimated with being with other kids and the whole background and I started interviewing schools and going to tour them. This mm -hmm. was the first school I came to and I did fall in love with it right away. And that was in the summer, July of 2007. Mm -hmm. And I continued through through the fall. I kind of visited every school in Parsippany and this is where I ended up. Mm -hmm. Why? The other schools that I saw didn't even compare to this. Mm -hmm. From their curriculum to just the attention, the care that they give the children. One more time, the curriculum, sorry. Curriculum the care they give the kids, the cleanliness. Um, so I was very impressed with this with this school amongst all the others in this town. Fantastic. Um, what would you say to someone who's considering, you know, they're looking around themselves and they're on the fence about, about coming here, what would you say to them? 
I would say don't even think twice about coming here because they will be very happy. Your children will be very well taken care of and they'll be happy. Excellent. What can you say about their approach? As far as? You know, in general, you know, in general uh, you, you may not be an educator, I'm not an educator, you know, but like... Their approach with teaching with the kids? Yes. Yeah. Oh, excellent. I mean, all the teachers that my son has, ha has had, they are all excellent. They are... I've watched them a couple of times. They're very patient, very specific, detailed, and they will spend one-on-one -on -one time with each child if they, he or she needs it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, anything else you might want to add? I mean... I've been very pleased here, and I'm actually sad to go. <laughs> I can't believe my son's going to go to kindergarten now, because he loves it here. He loves it. Wow, oh, great. Excellent. Thanks so much. Okay, you're welcome. I'm going to wet this. So... Um, you can focus here. There we go, great. Uh, your, your name and, and the spelling of your name. My name is Stephanie uh, Caponegro, C-A-P-O-N-E-G-R-O. Uh-huh. And, you know what? Okay. What's your question, bud? Dad, please push me off the chair. That's not a question. <laughs> That's a statement. Zachary, stand up. Sammy, sit down. All right. Zachary, come sit back here on the letter J. Oh, your tassel came off slowly. Yeah. Matt, if you guys would leave me alone, it wouldn't. I like